NH3 is a chemical formula for the colorless gas ammonia, with N as nitrogen and H as hydrogen. It is a compound also known as a zinc. Ammonia is significant for its contributions to the food production and fertilizer of this world. Also, it serves as a building block for the synthesis or the production of many pharmaceuticals. However, ammonia also poses many great threats to the world. Its side effects include the ability to produce TNT or trinitrotoline and the consequential environmental imbalances and concerns, such as the increase in water and air pollution, the disturbance on the greenhouse gas levels, the reduction of biodiversity, the marine algal blooms, and climate change. These results of ammonia are mainly due to the Haber-Bosch process, an innovation deemed to be both beneficial and destructive. On the 13th of October 1908, Fritz Haber filed his patent on the synthesis of ammonia from its elements. The subject tackles how ammonia, a chemically reactive and highly usable form of nitrogen, can be synthesized. According to this, the conditions necessary to make the process possible are medium temperature, a very high pressure, and a catalyst. Apparently, these requirements are due to the reactants, especially nitrogen. Although the atmosphere contains a large amount of nitrogen gas, its unreactive nature hinders the probability of combining with hydrogen gas. Looking deeper, the reaction equation of ammonia is nitrogen gas molecules plus three hydrogen gas molecules, which creates two ammonia gas molecules. This reaction releases 92.4 kilojoules per mole of energy at 298 Kelvin. Thus, it is an exothermic reaction. The hydrogen and nitrogen stoichiometric 3 is to 1 molar ratio is needed for ammonia synthesis or production. The reaction rate of the creation of ammonia is gradual. Naturally, under the conditions of high temperatures and pressure, hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas combine to create ammonia over a span of time. It is through the catalyst, iron-reduced magnetite ore, that the reaction rate is speeded up. The reason behind this is an iron catalyst lowers the energy of activation of the reaction. This therefore makes the bonds of the nitrogen and the bonds of the hydrogen more breakable. After publicizing this idea, Karl Bosch improved it into an industrial process. Since naturally nitrogen-rich soil, the quality of prime agricultural land, depletes after every usage, there must be a means of restoring nitrogen to the soil. With ammonia synthesis, nitrogen became readily available and easily usable. Ammonia synthesis then became widely popular for fertilizer use. It has been over a century since Haber released his invention to the world, and until now, humans still depend on a nitrogen-based economy specifically on ammonia synthesis. Although this process feeds populations, the negative concerns it brings cannot be ignored. In connection to this, many researchers and scientists are still looking for a side-effect-free solution. For now though, the world must bear ammonia synthesis.